Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to show you how to give your text to speech mascot an idle animation loop so it appears to have a mind of its own. This is especially helpful if you want your model to move independently from mouse tracking so they can still have some life when you're using a controller or you're doing other things with your hands on your streams. You do not need live to dcubism to do this. Anyone can do this as long as they have VTube Studio and a rigged model to work with. First, you'll want to have your TTS model set up however you like in VTube Studio. This is how I have my settings configured, but it's going to be unique to how your model is rigged and what kind of movement you want out of your character. For example, Zbat here doesn't have eyelids, but if he did, I could track my own blinking or use the auto blink feature. You can use your own face tracking or use mouse tracking or a blend of both. It just comes down to personal preference. With one exception, your mouth tracking. You'll want this to be set up to work with VTS Pog or another text-to-speech tracking method. Pog Online Poggers. Don't use your own mouth for tracking here. It's just going to mess things up. Once you have everything set up how you like, I recommend duplicating your files so you can have a backup version of your character. And then I usually label the two characters just so I can keep track of them. One of them will be sentient and the other one I will name obedient. Then on our sentient model, go to your camera settings. Scroll to the very bottom and you'll see this box right here to record live 2D animation. You'll want to change the recording length to the longest length available, which is 60 seconds. And then you'll want to hit start recording. We'll want to record some naturalistic movement. So what we're going to do is open up neopets.com and just sort of browse around for a minute or so. Once you have your recording, you're able to play it back here, see if you like it. And then you'll save your file. Hit OK. From here, you'll want to go to your character settings and set your idle animation that you just created. And you'll look at it and you go, uh, it's not working, it's not going. The issue here is that the model can't follow your tracking and the idle animation simultaneously. So what we'll need to do is delete the trackers for everything but the mouth movement and the breathing. Voila, he should be moving on his own. We'll just have to save him as an item. And there, now he's all good to go. Pog Online Parkers. If you do have access to Live2D Cubism, you can actually record multiple idle animations and then string them together for a longer loop. This will help the animation look a little less repetitive if that's an issue for you. If you're interested in a tutorial for that or really any other rigging topic, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and goodbye.